Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. This is one of the best games ever made. It's the critically acclaimed Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. I'm sure that you're aware that this game along with Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater was released in a master collection just a few months ago for consoles as well as on Steam for PC. While that alone is of course wonderful news for diehard fans like myself, it would be an overstatement to say that it was a perfect collection to play on your Steam Deck. When it was released back in October last year, many Steam Deckers couldn't even get it to run at all and those who could had a very bad experience. First of all, Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 3 had no music or voices during cutscenes and that alone destroys basically the whole game. It would be about the same experience as watching The Lord of the Rings with the sound turned off. I'm sure that many of you would agree on that. But not only that, the game was also locked at 720p or scaled up 1080p and 16x9 aspect ratio, meaning that it would be a pretty bad visual experience as well for all Steam Deck players out there. But fear not. Thanks again to our wonderful community, the games are now playable with sound and in native 800p and 16x10 aspect ratio. But it requires some work and in this video I'm gonna show you all the steps. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. And before jumping into the tutorial, I need to show you what I meant by bad experience, just by showing you a tiny bit of the gameplay. As you will notice straight away, there won't be any voice acting or music. And also take a note of the black bars at the top and the bottom of the screen. And I don't know if you can tell from this footage, but the graphics, at least the text, will be a bit grainy as well. Nah, this is not an acceptable way to play Metal Gear Solid 2. When you feel ready for it, exit out of the game, click your Steam button, scroll down to power and hit switch to desktop mode. From here, open your browser of choice and Google search for xaudio2 underscore 9 redist. And I'm sorry about the bright screen here, but I wanted to show you the on-screen experience rather than using my capture card. Anyway, click on the first link from dllfiles.com. This site has many pop-ups, so you might need to navigate past them, but scroll down and download the 64-bit version of the DLL file. And once you manage to download that file, Google search once again, and this time for MGSHD fix, and click the first GitHub link that you get. I will of course link to both the DLL file and the HD fix in the video description as well. And just as you can read in the about section on this page, this fix will add custom resolutions, ultra wide support and much more to your Metal Gear Solid collection. So go grab the latest release of this fix. As of making this tutorial, the latest version was 2.1. And now that you have all the files you need, go to your downloads folder and extract the xaudio dll file from its zip archive. And this is important. Once you have extracted the file, change the name from xaudio2 underscore 9 redist to xaudio2 underscore 9 instead. So remove the redist part from the name. Once you have changed the name of your xaudio dll file, you want to copy it and put it in both your MGS2 and MGS3 installations folder. And the easiest way to find the installation folders is to open Steam, right click the game in your library list and select properties. Here you want to click installed files and then the browse button in the upper right corner. This will take you straight to the installation folder for that game. Now paste the xaudio dll file into the installation folder, then do the exact same thing for MGS3. Now once that is out of the way, we're gonna install the HD fix pack as well. So go back to your downloads folder and extract the files from the MGS HD fix zip archive.
And the way the fix works is that once you have it installed in your MGS installation folders, you can open the mgshdfix.ini file and change the settings here to your liking. Most of the settings will be on by default, which you can see because it says true. And if you want to turn off the specific settings, you can change the value to false instead and save the file. And to install the fix, you do exactly as you did with the X-Audio DLL file. Copy all the files, go inside the respective installation folders and paste the files there. There's just one last thing we need to do before we can start gaming, and that is to tell these games to launch the games with the DLL files and the HD files we have just installed. And this is very easy, you need to copy this line of text, and I will have it in the video description as well so you can copy it from there, and then right click on the games in Steam again and select properties. Here you just want to paste the text line in the launch options. I already have the text here, but yours will probably be empty. And that's all you have to do. Head back into gaming mode and launch your game to play it the absolute best way possible. I will end this video with some gameplay from both MGS2 Sons of Liberty and MGS3 Snake Eater now that we have full audio support again and native 800p resolution as well as 16x10 aspect ratio. If this tutorial helped you out feel free to give it a like and leave a comment if it did. Also make sure to follow my channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. <laughs>